I mentioned before that you can't have Northwest favorites without salmon. Well, the same is true of my favorite whitefish, which is halibut. And uh, Chris Caldwell from Seattle is here to give us halibut with white sangria sauce over couscous. It's very nice to have you here, Chris. Uh, thanks, good to be that, here. That, that really, uh, even with all due respect to salmon, halibut is my favorite. That, that is really good for me. Mine too. Fish. Yep. So, Chris, are you so, ready to get started? This looks yep. great. What a beautiful piece of halibut you've brought for us today. Well, thanks. Uh, first, we need to get some couscous started, though. Okay. okay, we can do that. So, I'm going to need to put a pat of butter in some boiling water. Okay. Or if you want to take care of that. I can handle that. And maybe about a half teaspoon or so of salt there. Okay. You might need that back, so. That's probably good This is our chance there. to season the couscous. Yep. And then that goes in, the lid goes on, and you take it off the heat. You put it in and, and take it off the heat and let the, the moisture. Yeah, it cooks itself with the steam. Now that's the kind of food there you want go. to have See? that cooks itself with. It. Exactly. It takes a lot of the work out of it. So yep. now we're going to season up my halibut here. Just a little, oh, uh -huh. just a little bit of salt and pepper. See, that uh, happens in our kitchen too, folks. Pepper's here. Okay. <laughs> so turn that over real Beautiful. quick. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get it going We are there. so lucky to be able to get all this great seafood yeah. here. Okay, then so, so lucky. our pan that's already hot here, maybe mm -hmm. medium high or so. I'm just going to okay. add a little, coming out. a bit of oil. A little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to put the uh, the fish directly in that. Okay. Beautiful halibut. Mmm. Olive oil. Mmm. Okay. Fish. It's pretty good. And we're going to let that sear on one side for okay. probably less than a minute, maybe mm -hmm. 45 seconds or so. Get a little brown on. Are you want, little, looking for brown? Uh, just a little change in color is all okay, really. Okay. Just translucent then. Yeah. So. Uh, all right. Then turn it over once is all. Okay, and what's and, next? Well, once that browns, we've got some delicious white sangria to add to that. Okay. Which this I made at home last night. How long do you let sangria sit before you, you want to taste it? Because as you mentioned, if you well, drink it too fast. Well, if you drink it immediately, it tastes harsh. It still just tastes like wine, and the fruit hasn't gotten in there yet. But <laughs> one problem with sangria is that it has a very high evaporation rate. Yeah, so, so you do have to cover it. So it tends to disappear from the refrigerator. Yeah, <laughs> that too, especially at my house. Uh huh. Um, about an hour, two hours is better. Okay. Four hours is great. I don't really think there's an upper bound on it. We yeah. we end up uh, drinking it a couple days later sometimes. It would be pretty darn good by then, I think. So that All looks right. pretty good this there. Yes, it does. I think we just want to now add maybe a few scoops of this into there. And if you get a little piece of fruit go. in there, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, this smells great. Mm -hmm. So that's about good. You want to do this at home just for the uh, aroma factor. Right over here. Oops, sorry. Okay, right. so, you want to bring uh, this up to a boil? Yeah, it looks pretty good now. Uh, right. Just cover it. And turn the heat down. We'll just let that simmer for a few minutes until okay. the fish, uh, the parts that are flaking open, you can look in and see if they're Until it's all okay and through. done. Yep. What's next while this well, is doing its thing? While that's going, we can talk about how to make this sangria? wonderful sangria. Okay, okay. good. I have uh, you know, pre-sliced some of the fruit. I'm going to show you what we do with the oranges here. That's the okay. only really important part. We got it cut in half already lengthwise. Mm -hmm. Right there. So we're going to cut off the ends. And these little bits with the juice, we're going to save or we're going to uh, squeeze in. Okay. Just that little bit of juice gives it some extra flavor. And we're gonna remove this center part there because okay. that okay. tastes bitter. Besides, it's not very pretty in our Yeah, it just, it just disintegrates in there anyway, and you have these little bits of white stuff and no one wants that. There you go. So we get some of that out of there. And these look like navel oranges, which is really nice because then you don't have to deal with seeds. Right, exactly. And that's what they usually have anyway, so. You can use any fruit in this that you like. Uh, right now I've got a Fuji apple, mm -hmm. a red pear, and some orange slices in there already. That's kind of the standard way I make it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can put peaches in there, plums are good. I've even seen it with blueberries. Yeah, blueberries are good. Could you put blueberries in or, or grapes? 
Yeah, grapes are great in it, actually. Um, I'm a big blueberry fan, so that's So we kind of make sure these don't stick together too bad. And then if you just wanted to top that off with some wine. Okay. How much? Uh, just up to maybe an inch from the top. Okay. You just want it to cover all the fruit. Isn't this beautiful? Now imagine this on your patio in the summer. This would be great. I or, imagined or that a couple times this week. Or if you a little bit of summer <laughs> in the that? middle of winter. Oh, you can go more. Oh, okay. Um, just, you might as well empty the bottle, I guess. I guess. There and it's go. a Riesling wine. Yes. So it's, it's got a bit of sweetness to it. Yeah, it's, so it starts out with some sweetness. Yes, exactly. Okay, so then you just let this set for four hours or longer, however however long you An hour wait. minimum. Okay. An hour minimum for sure. Do you refrigerate let it? the flavors marry? Yes, okay. do you refrigerate that. Okay. Good question. Um, so what's our next step? Well, we I can see, check on the fish. That I looks... see some red pepper flakes over there. Oh. Are they going to go in here? They will when we put the butter in. All right. Let's check our fish and so, see how it's coming along. I think it's pretty close to done. Well, if in that case, we can get the couscous started. Okay. It's probably done by now. It only takes about five minutes. Let's bring the couscous over to you. Now remember, we dump the couscous what into boiling water, in and now it's, it, the water's gone and the couscous is all so set up. It's beautiful. First thing you want to do is stir it around a bit so it... Fluff it up? Fluff it up, make sure nothing's sticking together. And then here's our finished plate here. Okay. Just get a couple scoops of that going on here. Yeah, one more. This looks wonderful. It's not it a sure scientific does. process. It smells good. All right, too. I'll take it. Oh, you want to take that back? All right, somebody sure. can. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Oh, uh, how are we doing on the fish there? I think the fish is ready. Yep. Okay, if you just want beautiful. to place those just on top here, and then we have one more step with the sauce before that's finished. Two more steps, actually. You got this knife here. So uh, there's our beautiful actually, halibut. Fine. And so, what happens now with the sauce? To this, we're gonna add just a pinch of red pepper flakes mm -hmm. because the sangria is pretty sweet. And okay. you just kinda wanna give it a balance it there. out a little bit. And about half a stick of butter there. Okay. Can more we swirl more that in? if you don't care about your health so much. <laughs> and we're just going to let the butter melt, and the sauce will get a little bit thicker. Right. And that should take a minute so or two. This is your basic beurre blanc. Could what be. What you're making in here is a basic beurre blanc. <laughs> All right. You're just using sangria in place of regular wine. You want to take care not to mm. overheat it. That's true, you don't want to do anything bad it'll, to your butter. It'll break. See, it's getting thick and lovely. Isn't that beautiful? And when the butter is almost melted, mm -hmm. you can add a couple tablespoons of uh, chopped green onion. Okay. Just let it, it'll just soften a little bit oh, while it's yeah. in there so it's not quite as harsh when you eat it. You don't really want them to cook though. But you do want that flavor to get yeah, into the sauce. Yeah, you want the sauce, flavor to get into the really sauce, nice. but you don't want them to be mushy or. Isn't this great? Good. It is okay, up very now what? Well, once that's melted, got our handy dandy spoon here. We're just going to drizzle that over here. Here we go. So, take a scoop of that right over the top Ooh. of those pieces of fish. <laughs> Are you hungry yet? I am, yes. And, oh, Butterfingers there. All right, let's do it up. One more. And the reason I like to do this with couscous is that the couscous absorbs all that extra sauce and yes. takes on some of that. Yes. Flavor. It gives you a good oh taste boy, there oh boy, too. Oh boy. That's pretty. And to finish it off, I just like to go a little bit more of that. So, George, would you like to try a little of that sangria to go with this? Yes, I would. Oh yeah. Let's, Let, have, let's try some that's been sitting there for a while. Okay. <laughs> there we go. One for you. And one for you. One for me. All right. Here we go. Let's try this beautiful Can I have some? halibut. Sure. You bet. Here, take this one. It's never too that's early. What we, that, well, that's, what, that's what we got three glasses for here. There mm. you go. Oh, that's really nice. The halibut is perfectly done. I'll try some. This is wonderful. Well, you get the credit for that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh really? Isn't that good? Cheers. Cheers, Thank everyone. Thank you. This is great. You You're going to want to get this. 
Oh, and that goes so good with it. It's very, very mild. You, you know, if you're, if you're used to the, the wine being a little tart, this is a perfect a compliment for a, a, a halibut with a, the white sangria sauce over the couscous. So give us a call at 1-800-443-1999 and take full advantage of one of the great treasures we have here in the Northwest, halibut. Wonderful halibut. Thank you very, very much. Thank Chris, you. You bet. Thank you very much. To a great dinner.